drama. I'm 21 years old. I go to Maryland. I've been going there for the past four years. I graduate. Y'all know what's going on, so I don't know if I'm graduating. I mean, I'm going to graduate, but I'm not going to have my ceremonies. No cabin gown, but I graduate. I'm graduating with my Bachelor's of Arts and my Bachelor's of Science, so you guys already know. So I'm just going to give y'all knowledge I wish someone told me before I step foot on campus. So the background's not giving what I wanted to give. Like it's giving white, it's giving plain, it's giving basic. But you know, I tried to set up my studio lights. I tried to turn on my big camera and Shadi did not want to turn on. So I was like, I have to film this video today. So I'm using my vlog camera and yeah. The placement of the screw for the vlog camera is not compatible with my big tripod. You guys don't even care. You guys just want to know about 10 things you should know before going to Maryland. So y'all can see I'm wearing my Maryland Day t-shirt, but it's still Maryland nonetheless. So the first thing I wish I knew before I attended Maryland is that Testudo closes. Now, let me give you the backstory of how I figured it out and I'll explain to you what Testudo is. So... It was the day before classes started, my freshman year, and I was chopping it up with Brianna on the phone, you know, we were talking, and around 12.30ish, we got off the phone, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to screenshot my classes for tomorrow, because I have class at 9am, so let me be productive, so I know where the heck I'm going tomorrow, so I get my phone, I went on to studio, and it's basically telling me that, like, the website is closed, and I'm looking like, what do you mean the website is closed? basically testudo closes it has like certain operating hours so monday through saturday testudo is open from 7 30 a.m to 11 p.m and on sunday it's open from 5 30 p.m to 11 p.m so what that means is that outside of those hours you cannot access certain features on testudo some things are 24 7 like you can always see your grades you can always use the um gpa calculator you can always use the deactivation swipe id thing but some other things like degree audit is not available unless it's in within those certain hours. Um, you can't access your unofficial transcript unless it's within those certain hours. You can't register for classes. The second thing I did not know prior to going to Maryland is that some majors are LEPs. If you come into Maryland already having a major, I think you're fine for the most part. But if you add another major or you come in as letters and sciences, which is our undecided, we call it letters and sciences, um... This is important for you to know. My first major, which is criminology and criminal justice, is an LEP. And basically what that means is that I have to take certain classes and receive a certain grade before I can attend the workshop and, you know, declare the major or whatever. My other major, which is Housing School of Public Health, is not an LEP. I had to meet with an advisor. I had to do like an individual workshop and then a... Um, a group workshop or maybe it was vice versa I just had to do two workshops and then um declare the major and then for my minor I'm not sure about all minors in Maryland but for my minor it was the application process just be aware of the certain requirements you may need to actually be eligible for that major or minor with that being said some majors have a benchmark so by a certain time you should have taken some classes otherwise they will drop you from like they'll pick you up and like literally drop you out the major they tell you that you need to complete these five classes by like your third semester in the major and you have not done so they are kicking out the major so be wary and be aware of your benchmarks be aware if the major you're trying to apply to is an LEP and be aware if you have to apply to your minor just so you're on top of this so you can get in and stay in. I already lost count so I think I only said one thing so far but I very well could have said two. The next thing I wish I knew is Maryland is divided into two campuses. There's North Campus and South Campus. North Campus houses primarily freshmen but most of the classes are on South Campus. The only exception with that is um, the School of Public Health. The School of Public Health is located on North Campus. North Campus is just farther out from a lot of the classes but this actually brings me to my next tip or next thing I wish I knew. There's a bus app and I did not know about this until Paulina told me freshman year. Like Paulina, we used to make fun of Paulina because she literally had the roots like downloaded in her brain. The next bus app basically tells you what buses are coming, when they're arriving, as well as the stops. So if you ever want to catch a bus and you want to know like when the bus is coming, the app is very handy for that. I'll probably put the little icon here. 
Maryland has a lot, a lot, a lot of resources. I am guilty of not taking full advantage of all the resources offered to me, but I feel like I did take advantage of a good amount of resources. Um, there's a writing center, which I used a lot my freshman year. Um, I didn't really use it sophomore or junior or senior year, but it's a great resource if you need someone to look over your paper. Just make a little appointment and they will assist you. Maryland also has a thing called Terpware, which you can get Microsoft Word, OneNote, all of that. Maryland also has guided study sessions, which I will admit I did not take take any advantage of I definitely should have for my bio class but I just didn't um, they have GSS sessions for bio I know they have some for econ they have some for chem so if you're struggling in those classes and you just need some extra help definitely attend GSS there's also a math success program which just helps you with math I cannot list all the resources off the top of my head but there's just so many resources that you guys should definitely take advantage of like bruh like the career center the health center like there's just so many resources bruh take advantage y'all might think this is a joke but i'm actually very serious i'm actually including this in the video bring a rain boots okay because when it rains on campus it pours like literally umd is like hilly like all types of things going on and you just want to be prepared so get you some rain boots and put them on when it rains fall semester there's this thing called first look fair and second semester or spring semester there's something called second look fair and basically it's a event i was gonna say a festival but it's not it's an event where different organizations and different clubs come out if you're worried about getting involved and how you don't know how you're gonna get involved definitely attend first look fair in the fall semester and if you miss it you can go to second look fair in the spring there's this thing called UMD Alerts. So UMD Alerts is um, a little thing where, I think it's by the police department, I really don't know, but it just basically alerts you on anything that's going on on campus. It tells you if some type of thing that's happening is not supposed to be happening on campus, you're going to receive a UMD Alert for the most part. So UMD Alerts, you automatically get an email, but you can have it set up where you get text messages as well. I get text messages because I know myself. I'll look at a text message before I look at an email. So I just like to stay informed. College is hard, but UMD is harder. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But no, UMD is actually hard. Like, um, I feel like some of the classes that you would think are easy are not always necessarily easy. So always apply yourself, you know, use their resources if you're having trouble. Um, yeah it's hard but it's college and you know at the end of the day you want your name under that university of maryland college park you know degree thing so work hard and your hard work will pay off yes sir do not use all your dining dollars in the beginning of the semester if you get a meal oh let me explain the meal plan first so um we have a meal plan called anytime dining and basically what that is is that i know some schools they have swipes and meals or whatever no we don't have none of that baby girl we have anytime dining so whenever you're hungry whether it's 20 times a day or three times a day you can go in the diner and go get you something to eat all of this is like a hand scan thing i've recorded myself and the um, dining halls and a couple vlogs so you can go back and look and see if you're curious about how the hand scan thing works but if you have the dining plan where you get dining dollars um please save them because you know towards the end of the semester you might not be feeling the dining food so you might want to use your dining dollars at chick-fil-a or Cadoba or like at the junior shop or the common shop so save like think wisely about the way you spend your dining dollars like i know people who blown through 200 worth of dining dollars the first three weeks of the semester i'm like baby girl like what's going on like come on every first wednesday of the month there's an alarm gonna go off the alarm goes off to basically just test like the campus-wide alert system like the first time that goes off you will see people go like this it's like super loud but you'll see people go like this those are all the 10 things i wish i knew before i attended university of maryland i i think it was 10 i hope so like i said i lost count if you guys have any other university of maryland related content that you guys want to see let me know because like i said i've been there for four years my time there is almost up it's very bittersweet like these four years went by super fast but if you guys want to know anything or everything about the university of maryland i am your girl so yeah i'll see you guys in next week friday's video